did you enjoy that brief dancing skit <laughs> if you did then stick around for more because uh, i decided to do something different today because it's easter monday and um is the we're celebrating the resurrection and uh you guys know i love to dance so yeah i'm showing you a couple of dresses this is my latest dress haul from everpretty.com this is a very beautiful long evening dress and i'm going to show you uh, different dresses on this video and um, but i've decided to do it differently i'm going to do it in a dance so if you enjoyed that first clip stick around uh i'm going to show you my different dancing dancing style to different dancing music don't forget to check my description box for more information about all these dresses for all your occasion dresses wedding birthdays dinner anniversary whatever dress that you need everpretty.co.uk and everpretty.com is your plug the addresses are amazing affordable and you can send it back if you are not satisfied with it i only always advise that you order one size up because they're a bit small in sizes but yeah stick around there's a lot of goodies in form of dancing to entertain you <laughs> to make myself happy i dance to make myself happy i like i love music so yeah stick around for more clips on my dancing before we get to the business of the day thanks a lot guys and uh enjoy I've always wanted this dress, but I never find it in my sight. Finally, here it is. I love this dress. The material is really, really soft. Green is one of my favorite colors. Yes, yeah, so I absolutely love, love, love. Yeah, I just finished it with some. Um, I finished it with boots. <laughs> On a good day, I will not wear boots, but it's cold today, so. <laughs> yeah. Everpretty.com is your plug for all your occasion dresses. These guys, they do amazing dresses, trust me. I've been working with them for over two years, and I can tell you that their dresses are absolutely stunning. Birthdays, weddings, anniversary, whatever your occasion is. You see, I see a lot of women that are celebrating birthdays and they are sewing clothes. When it comes to English words, you don't need to sew. Just check everpretty.co.uk or everpretty.com and select your beautiful dress. Look at that. This kind, this kind, this material is amazing. How me for
hey guys good afternoon welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ruji. how are you guys doing today i hope you're doing well happy easter i pray that the death and the resurrection of our lord jesus christ will bring us peace it will bring us blessing it will bring us deliverance it will bring us breakthrough and it will bring us all our expectations our prayer requests and whatever you are trusting god for that god will meet us at the point of our need in this season in jesus name thank you so much for stopping by if you have not yet subscribed and you're new on this platform please consider doing so this is what able tv what we do here is primarily we talk about issues that affect africans who live in the diaspora as well as african issues and relationship is a big part of those issues that we talk about on this platform yeah so today i want to talk about nigerians who live in the diaspora and i just have a simple question to ask why is it that we don't when we leave Africa, we'll come here, yeah? For everybody that is living Africa, living Nigeria, I'm specifically addressing Nigerians now, you leave Nigeria to come here. You come to the abroad, anywhere in the abroad, be it UK, US, Australia, you know, Italy, Spain, you know, Germany, anywhere in Europe, Asia, all the four corners of the globe. We leave Nigeria for one reason. And the reason primarily why we leave Nigeria, because trust me, nobody leaves their home when everything is rosy. If everything is good in your home, you will not say, oh, where will I go to? Let me go to that cold country. Oh, where will I go to? Let me go to that country where it's always raining nonstop every in 365 days in a year. 200 days in that year, in that, in that one particular year is rain or drizzle every single time. Nobody, you won't wake up one day and just say, you want to go, if things were okay. Mm -hmm. And I know that for a lot of Nigerians who came abroad in the 70s, and the 60s, they usually just go back. Nigeria was good then. A pound was equal to a naira. And as a matter of fact, those who were, who were privileged to, to live in that era, I wasn't born in the 60s. They said that the naira was even more powerful than the, the dollar. No thanks to the very corrupt and the systematic corruption and, you know, what we have as government, you know, from one government to the other that has managed to ruin the economy, destroy the Naira, and just wrecked the whole country to where it is now. So, everybody in Jack, everybody is looking for where to escape to because there's fire on the mountain. There's fire on the mountain. So... For those who are quite successful in Nigeria, they still come when they come abroad to come and visit. They will come, do their shopping, you know, they just come to relax from the stress. Those who have the money to do their medical checkup, they will do their medical checkup and they will go back. They don't live here. They don't stay here because they don't see the need for you to stay here. But we, that for one reason or the other, have made the abroad our home. This is our home now, whether you like it or not. If you lived in the diaspora, for 10 years, 15, 20, 25, is your home. It's your home. So whether it's conscious, it's a conscious decision or consciously or due to circumstances, one reason or the other, this has become our home. So now that this is our home, why don't we do more to help one another? Why? Why is it that we don't do more as a community to help one another? I was having a discussion with somebody um, a few days ago and we were talking about other people from different countries and, you know, making examples with Asians, Asians, Arabs. Guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that uh, there's any community that is perfect though, or that there are any people that they don't have issues. Trust me. I know that as much as we use other people to compare and the comparison is, is a good comparison in terms of what they are doing that is good. But there's no community that is 100% good, that everything they are doing is good, they have no problem. So let's take, for instance, Asians. You see them in a place like London, if you go to a place like Newham, Tower Hamlets, Waltham Forest, you see a lot of Asians in that area. In fact, in Tower Hamlets, those of you who live in London know Tower, know Tower Hamlets, that's um, East London. There is a very massive uh, group of bag people from Bangladesh, uh, Bangladesh um, background, and I was reading somewhere that 
in that community they have the highest number of people from Bangladesh outside of Bangladesh that is where you have the highest number of people from Bangladesh in one environment and from working with that community my experience is that they normally congregate like that in one community in one area they live together in one area because they want to support each other you know they want to help each other they want to be there for one another so you find like uncles you know generational like fathers who've got children their children have got children their uncles they are they all live in one street you will see them they all live in one street and what they normally do is that they will put money together they will put money together this is what the susu that i made a video about the other day that our own people are started doing now but you know what they do they use it to dupe each other nigerians who live abroad will be duping fellow nigerians knowing how hard we all work knowing the the, the tears sweats that it takes to survive in the abroad nigerians who live in nigeria will be duping nigerians it's not good to dupe anybody oh. you guys who follow me on this platform know how my stand about all this duping and 419 is quite strong i don't tolerate it at all i i i hate it completely because i believe that you know you shouldn't take something from somebody stealing forcefully or you know connivingly or using any scheme whatever it's, it's stealing go and walk why would somebody who come from nigeria to come abroad not be able to if you cannot walk and make a, a living for yourself at least a minimal living for yourself and you still carry that your fraud that you are doing in nigeria to come and do it in the abroad then you are a real thief proper thief is that person we see them on social media every every day nigerians who live in that world are still doing old they are doing fraud defrauding people up and down they put them in jail they serve the other one i saw the other day is going to do 25 years in jail in the u.s because it was duping uh, apparently it was duping old people it was duping old people so my people why why can't we help each other why can't we pull together because there is strength in unity why we don't help ourselves no everybody is me 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 the reason why i'm doing this video is because somebody sent me a message and said that the greatest <laughs> the greatest mistake they made was introducing their their wife who is a non-nigerian to to his nigerian friends he said never introduce and um, your non-nigerian uh, partner to nigerians that they will they will finish you so you as a person you are a man you are married to whether a, a white woman or women from other backgrounds and a friend comes to your house or you meet a friend and you exchange numbers and you are friends and you invite them to your house and then the next thing you know they start making friends with your wife on facebook and start looking for ways to now spill some any debt that they have about you or trying to spoil you for your wife what is the advantage or what do you gain from spoiling other people why 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 are we like this that's why eh? hmm. our country is so is in this array you know everybody is clamoring for for change everybody is clamoring for uh, reforms or what they call it everybody is clamoring for independence but we that live in the abroad nigerians are living here abroad we've seen life we should see life in a different light now because we've seen the light we've seen how civilization works right why do we still have that kind of mindset why do we still have such mindset of doing wickedness in our hearts why your friend introduce you to their evil wife next thing is to be looking for a way that's why a lot of nigerians run away from other nigerians we heard the story about that uh, lady that died in manchester that lady risi cat amo eh? she died and the update that we have about her death is the fact that, uh, you know, she just, she was cutting a lot of people off, including her family. Apparently, she has family here in the UK, a sister or so. But she cuts everybody off. For somebody to cut people off, off like this, there's a reason. There's a reason. People don't just wake up one day and cut people off. Why did they cut you off? So that woman ended up dying in her house and they didn't find her. It took social media. I did a video about it. It took social media for us to do video and be begging, please, do you know this woman? Come forward, come forward, 
who knows her family come forward because if she was surrounded by people like I was making the example like Asian communities where they all they are all grouped together they grow together and they grow they do grow and you see the funny thing our people eh, our we too they very loud and obnoxious we just say now we sabi do crime pass now we sabi do this old do pass then say they do pass us if you don't know then they do pass us everything we just say Nigerians they do the only reason why, why Nigerians own so they so obvious they say we know they sabi code they go they put themselves so I was going to all those ones where they put themselves like uh, what if you name Wash puppy when they go lock up now for US that one nobody even hear about him again you know the ta the, the mayor of the uh, Tower Hamlets hmm? not the current mayor uh, I think it was a few years ago about maybe six six years ago or seven years ago there was a mayor of Tower Hamlets now Bangladesh the man come from what did those people do eh, for that place you know British people now they do the fear political correctness so fear no let them talk they couldn't come out and talk they just hush hush everything the man supposed to date jail the level of fraud and corruption that went on they say the man give houses to him people all the contracts now you know the way they say they do business for Africa <laughs> so the man run the council now council council government government money he run as he like eh? he embezzle as he like and that that place eh that's a borough, a uh, town hamlet, has uh, this new area where uh, it's like the city now where you have all these tall banks. That's a canary wharf. Part of it is in town hamlet. So you can imagine the amount of money they are making. And it was during the time of the construction of all those places. So they say this man raking so much money. He got so bad that at that time, the government had to take over the administration of the, of the borough. Because of the level of corruption that happened there, but British people uh, fear no let them talk because they, you know they don't want to make themselves say you know say they today like to do say they know they they race so they just cover and hush hush. The man walk free, no even go jail. So the government had to manage the uh, their money for a number of years. They can't do transition before they now handed it back to them again. If na ninja ha, I'm not saying it's good though for people to to, to perpetrate or for maybe people to commit crime. But our own people we eh, we are we are like the worst enemy of ourselves. Why do we hate each other so much as black people? If I may ask, I beg. Can somebody tell me why black people hate each other so much? I've never seen any race. I know that oh, in every community you have, they have their issues. But black people are so disunited. I've never seen. Africans and African Americans, they know they see eye to eye. Eh? I don't know what the problem is. Okay. Historically, there may have been some problems regarding slavery and all that. That's deep. But... Why should me and you, that were not actively involved in things like that, should hate each other now? I don't see any reason why I should hate my African American uh, people or why African American people should hate, hate me because whatever happened in the past, I wasn't part of it. I wasn't even born. You see, Caribbean too, Caribbean and Africans. Some Caribbean, some Caribbean people, especially some Jamaica people, hey, them and Nigerians, they don't get along at all. I don't know why. So you see the division, there's so much division within the black community. So much di division. The other day that Megan came, came Megan Marco came out and was talking about how she will experience racism and everything in the palace. I saw so many videos that were done by her own fellow African American people blasting her. If you see the way they were cursing her. So all of us they shout, say Pierce Morgan, oh Pierce Morgan, oh we want to crucify Pierce Morgan. But it wasn't only Pierce Morgan, oh. I saw this particular video on IG where the the black man was saying that uh, she's not that uh, Megan Markle, she's not black. What's black about her? That the only thing that leads her to a, to a black identity that she's claiming is her mother. Everything about her is, is white. Her husband is white. Her father is white. Her this is white. And so bloody what? Why? Even if you don't consider her to be black for some reason because she's mixed race, why should you come out to be blasting her? Hmm? Because she says she experienced racism. So she's not qualified to talk about that. You are more blacker than her. How do you measure your level of blackness with other people? I don't know. How do you measure your blackness? Is it by the color of your skin? Or is it your experiences? Or I don't know. How do you measure measure it? So the man talks, say, 
the mistake when you make we say introducing introducing white wife to Nigerian brother. It is say Nigerian brother say. In fact, if you want wrecking marriage, now God save him. So he say make a one make a do video one. Nigerians are married to non-Nigerians, especially if you're married to a white ladies. Say make you know let your Nigerian friend even know your wife. Don't even introduce them because they will find a way to ruin that relationship. I don't know why. It is it is very very sad. Honestly, I don't know why we do that. I really don't know why because what do you gain by it? It's not like the woman is going to dump her husband. You, the only thing you will succeed, succeed in doing is to, you know, you cause trouble between them and then the marriage will, will crash or they start having issues. She's not going to dump her, dump him and start dating you. It's just jealousy. There's too much jealousy. This life, eh, what may have learned, eh, in my almost 50 years of being in this earth, what I've learned is that anything you want, if somebody has something and you want it, you know, be happy for that person. I appreciate it. Tell the person, ah, this thing you have, I like it, too. it's very nice. I pray me too, I can get it one day, and because your heart is good, your heart is pure, and you are not wishing the person even, and, and you see the tear starting, eh, eh, all day, oh, they want to show off. This is how they used to do. Come and see them. Oh, this one, eh, it's just showing off. Oh. <laughs> people always see what they don't have. When other people have something they don't have, it's always show off to them. Just because they don't have it, not show off. You that have it, you are showing off. Eh. Allow people to show off if they want to show what is your business. Eh, just have a good heart. Just have a clean heart. Don't be convictious. And stop doing evil. It's not good. Eh? This is the, 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 the time, the season we celebrate the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let's, let's accept Jesus in your life. Repent. Repent. <laughs> Repent. Change from your wicked ways. Oh, that's too wicked. Change. Change. Make good come to you. If you wish another person good, you see as they talk and say, if you point to one hand, the remaining for the point to you. Whatever you wish for another person is what will come to you. So, Ejeka Shiriri, Ejeka Shiriri, Riri Lope, Ika Oda, Ika Oda. So, my people, I'm going to leave it here with you today. I just, I just want to beg all of you as Nigerians are living in diaspora, let us work together. If you are in, in a working place, you see another Nigerian that is there. Whatever you know that can help the person, do it. Don't witch hunt them or be envious of them. One of my friends just recently lost, lost a job because of another African person that was so hateful for no reason. He just hates her for no reason. This one not be even Nigerian, a fellow African. They say it be. The woman just had it in for her. You know, let her rest until he make sure she's the second from that job. Why? Let us help one another. Let us elevate one another. Now, so this is how we can grow as Africans, as Nigerians who live in the diaspora. If we continue to witch hunt each other, we don't help each other. Then you see, we we'll struggle. We we'll struggle. Unity, love. One love is what will help us. I'm going to leave you here today, guys. Leave me your thoughts and your experiences. If you've experienced, you know, any kind of um, behavior or maybe in your workplace or in your relationship or from people you know or people you don't know, people of the same color, the same skin with you, your fellow Africans. Let me know in the comment section and I will speak to you guys in my next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Happy Easter. I love you. Bye.